Good day everyone! I hope you are having a wonderful day. My name is Teacher May and welcome to our online escuela. Today, we will talk about the scientific method, the steps, and is it really important to our daily lives? We will find out. First, let us answer the question, what is a scientific method? A scientific method is a process or procedure that follows a series of steps to find answers to a certain problem. Another simple definition would be a method commonly used by scientists or researchers to acquire or gain knowledge about the world. For example, this is your problem. And in order for you to find answers to that problem, you need to follow a process or steps in order for you to be successful in finding a solution. Next question is, what are the steps in scientific method? 1. Identify the problem. 2. Gather data. 3. Form a hypothesis. 4. Test your hypothesis. 5. Analyze your results. 6. Draw a conclusion. Let's discuss this one by one. In identifying the problem, first, you need to ask yourself, what is it that interests you? Or, is there something that bothers you that you want to solve? If the answer is yes, you can write it down in a form of a question. However, it should be something that needs an in-depth investigation or experimentation and not something that is answerable by yes or no right away. For example, Which battery drains faster, a smartphone or non-smartphone? This question is not answerable by yes or no because you need to test first which of the two phones has a better battery performance. Gathering data. In collecting data or information, the most important thing to do is to observe. And when you observe, you need to use all your senses like your sense of sight do you see something that is unfamiliar to you your sense of touch why did the temperature suddenly change your sense of smell there is a foul odor in this area your sense of taste why is this food taste better than the other one your sense of hearing where is that noise coming from we need to use all our senses because every inch of information is important in solving a problem. In writing down your observation, you can use tables or charts. Also, you can use any material that you find helpful like books, magazines, online sites, or even researches that is made by other people that is related to your subject. In connection to the example problem earlier, you can ask people about their experiences on using their Android phone or read articles or blog posts on the internet. Form a hypothesis. What is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is an educated guess or educated prediction. It means that your prediction didn't just came from nowhere because it is based from your previous knowledge or experience, thus it is called educated. It is actually a statement that must answer your problem based from your experience or knowledge. However, it may be correct or wrong. The hypothesis must be proven through experimentation. 
let's have an example. Battery of non-smartphone drains faster. Experimentation. Basically, experiment is needed to test if your hypothesis is correct or not. And eventually, it leads to an answer to your problem. Also, experiment must be done repeatedly for accuracy and consistency of data. Result analysis. In this part, all the results of your experiment should be clearly laid out. Examine carefully and analyze what these results mean. In our example, we will compare our hypothesis to the results of the experiment. And do the results support the hypothesis? Make a conclusion. In making your conclusion, consider your hypothesis and the results of your experiment. Make a comparison between the two. Then, make a statement which may either accept or reject your hypothesis. Now, important note. Your conclusion must answer the question you have created. Now, let's check our problem, hypothesis, and conclusion. Our problem was... Which battery drains faster, a smartphone or non-smartphone? Our hypothesis was battery of non-smartphone drains faster. After our experiment, we concluded that battery of smartphone drains faster. If you can see, the hypothesis is different from conclusion, which means our conclusion rejected our hypothesis. Also, our conclusion answered our problem. And lastly, whatever is the result of your experiment, it is important that you share or communicate it with others. This is where the importance of the process comes in. Is scientific method really important? The answer is yes because it may help for the future advancement in technology, medical, and many others. Also, it may lead to a discovery of something very important that is life-changing. Who knows? You may be the next scientist of the decade. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video is helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!